Rescuers are still working to reach scores of people trapped after Wednesday's earthquake in Taiwan. At least 12 people were killed and more than a thousand injured in the quake. Meanwhile, a massive cleanup operation is underway in the eastern city of Hualien, near the epicenter. Workers have begun demolishing a building that's been tilting at a precarious angle since the disaster struck. Officials hope to complete the demolition in two weeks. Well, that earthquake measured a magnitude 7.4. DW correspondent James Chater reports now from a remote national park where many people were still waiting to be brought to safety. High up into Roko National Park on Taiwan's east coast, rescue teams rushed to find people still stranded, two days on from the earthquake. Footage provided by authorities show the dangerous lengths being taken to find those who are still missing. The focus has now turned to this rugged part of Taiwan's east coast, where hundreds remain stuck in a hotel. Some have been taken down to safety by helicopter, but with strong aftershocks still rocking the area, many narrow roads like this one are too dangerous to pass through. The mayor of Hualien, the city closest to the earthquake's epicenter, said rescue teams were redoubling efforts in the area. Search teams, including ones from all around Taiwan, are being coordinated and dispatched by the Taroko Highway Bureau to search for the missing through various routes. On the mountainous roads, a steady stream of emergency vehicles and the strain of sirens. The gorge behind us is the entrance to Taroko National Park. This bridge is as far as journalists are allowed to go right now because rescue operations are still underway. But with 48 hours since the earthquake struck and with very low clouds, efforts are becoming more and more urgent. Back from the bridge is the centre for rescue operations. Here, military and emergency teams plan sorties into the national park. This officer came up from Taiwan's southern city of Kaohsiung and said his team is helping send food and drink to those trapped. The biggest problem would be rain. When it rains, there's greater risk of falling rocks and landslides. We'll have to prepare waterproof clothing too. Right now, it's impossible to say how long our efforts will go on. The scenery in Taroko National Park is usually a magnet for tourists in Taiwan. But the dramatic landscape here has also made rescue operations even more challenging.